Hey guys, purest play, purest, sorry, back in it again with um, some sad news. I've uh, took a little time to think about this playthrough and I think it was a mistake to down um, to enable the Highlander mod because he's just too powerful like legit you saw me like face up against um, uh, like I had Lotharingia, I had East Francia, I had like a whole lot of like allies, which like basically eagled him when he it was like back when he had ten thousand. I still lost because he's just that OP. I mean, he's got forty fucking prowess. 25 learning, 20 intrigue, 28 stewardship, 39 marshal, and 25 diplomacy. I can't fucking touch this guy. And it was it, it was a mistake to even enable this mod. So, as a result, I'm ending this here. I can't really do anything. I mean, it's sad, but... It was just a mistake to enable a mod that fucking cheaty in the first place. I'm sorry for disappointing you, but... I'll try and think of something else to uh, replace this time slot. Alright. Yeah. I mean, the only way I can legit, like, um, last against this guy, uh, last against him is just basically fight a war of attrition and just, like, have him eat me away, like, little by little until, like, There's like nothing left, or I just surrender and live like perpetually under his um vassalage, and I think both is kind of like useless. Um, I mean, even though, yeah, both are kind of useless. You guys don't want to see that, so I'm gonna end this here. Sorry for the short part. This is. I just can't, and I just can't. I mean, you can say it's like, oh no, I'm being like a sore loser or whatever, but it was my mistake in the uh, in the first place to actually enable this mod. This this fucking Highlander mod fucking ruined me, <laughs> right? Anyway. Uh, next week we'll probably, I'll probably, um, enable a vote on Twitter, maybe. Uh, by the way, follow me on Twitter, I'm, uh, Purist Place, or at Purist. I'm not sure which one is the actual person you, I'm still pretty, ow, I'm still pretty new to, uh, Twitter. So, um, yeah, I'll have to work that out. But, um, follow me on Twitter, you know, to see, like, which ones I, um, see. But, uh, yeah, this is the end of Crusade Kings 3, The Rise of Alba. It's not really a rise if you're basically beating out the inevitable advance of an immortal King Alfred. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this series. I've been Purist, signing off.